Hold on. Tom, it's coming. Tom, it's coming. I wish I knew sign language. I really do. Here we go. I know yes, and I don't know. You guys, you guys should be getting audio now. Hello. Uh, this, this, by the way, is what happens when you have to transform one studio into another studio within yeah. the course of three minutes. Uh, it didn't go well today. Apologies to everyone who had to wait for the stream to start. Yeah. Um, but now it is working. It's oh, working. We're seeing the wire from the... Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. This, this is... This, this is, is what, what we're doing. This is what you get today. You, get, right. you get a big pile of shit because that's what we had time for. Yep. What wire? The, oh, that one? Yeah. That's all right. Good thing Brian's wearing pants. <laughs> First time for everything. Yeah. Just, just a little bit behind the scenes. That's yes. A little bit behind yeah. the scenes. You can see where the magic is made. I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be a ton of people complaining about how it looks. And so yeah. all those people, you can go away. Thank <laughs> you so much for, for Unless tuning Unless you're a in. Patreon supporter. In which yes. case, we value your feedback. If you want these wires <laughs> removed, please go on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash without parole. Games. I was going to say poll, but sure. And a poll. <laughs> yeah. it's, our, it's our lighting from uh, from viewer takeover that, uh, yeah, this is this, this, yeah. this is definitely a shit show today. <laughs> so thanks All for right. hanging out, everybody. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be a good one. I yeah. think so. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, welcome to PSVR Gamescast Live. A little bit of housekeeping. Make sure you guys head on over to uh, on your PlayStation 4. Join our community. Yeah. Uh, man, we got a bunch of moderators over there now. We got, we got Metcat. We got JD Max to Gamecat. We got... Uh, J Meow, J Dow, or Justin Sadowski. Uh, we also we Where are you being have, called Meow. Um, we also have a Head Roadie, uh, Joe Monahan, yeah, and uh, and and, and Reth, the Mad Game Cat, aka Robert Meadows, and Welcome Reth, the absolute insane Game Cat. He has two names. He's either mad or insane. <laughs> okay, I, and I and I and I'm pretty sure based on some PlayStation messages I was reading this morning, he's designing my tattoo. Oh, oh, you're gonna do a tattoo? Oh, I've been wanting to get a half sleep for a while with all like you know cats and PSVR and like all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, make it very without parole, very game cat related. Yeah, uh, P- VR related. Uh, and uh, and he starts like spouting ideas and stuff, and I was like, oh, you sound okay. like you know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll just get whatever tattoo he decides. Is he a tattoo artist? He's an artist. Okay, an artist. in general. Okay, so cool. Uh, I'll take it. All right, nice. Yeah. Uh, so, but head on over on your PS4 <laughs> on your community tab to PSVR game. What is it called? PSVR Without Parole Game Cats. Yeah. That's our yes. community. Uh, there's like a bunch of people over there that talk all the time. If you ever want to play a game, if you ever want to hang out and talk about VR, mm-hmm. that's where you want to do it. All right. We awesome. already did the slap tomorrow. Yes. The, the, the slapping has been done. Yes. And I, I'd like to point out that Brian did not get the memo about wearing plaid today. So that is his mistake, Yay. not ours. Good thing I changed <laughs> and got a haircut this morning because the one I was wearing prior was, was very similar to that. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've actually had that memo blocked since 1997. <laughs> I was like, Aww. ever since grunge died. Oh, it I'm, will never I'm, die, because Kurt Cobain simply I, just became stardust. I will still occasionally bust started. out the long sleeve tee with the flannel tied around my, my, my waist. Oh, no, yeah. no. See, I never did that. That's more oh, yeah. like the um, Eddie Vedder yep. type of thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, would, I wasn't into Pearl Jam, still not. I'm gonna get slack. I have gotten slack for that. Yeah, because you don't like Metallica either, right? I do yeah. not like Metallica. So I'm just, I'm just trying to like <laughs> push the conversation that direction while I try to get the show together. Yeah. So, um, yes, Des. Yes. Actually, you know what? It's funny. We we, we can while Brian uh, situates some things. Uh, you ever get like stuck on a song? So I kind of wanted to make this a thing. Okay. Each week, talk about or mention a song that's sure. been stuck that we've listened to over and over okay. I'm always down for new music you know you guys in the chat can say yeah. what you've been stuck on so uh, what is Des is there a tune that you have periodically listened to uh, this week I can actually bring this up. not only can I do that Yeah, I can make Brian happy too and bring Ooh. it both together in VR how about that Oh, right? no one's ever going to make me happy <laughs> <laughs> I can't make myself Brian happy cries. I highly doubt that yeah. hashtag Brian cries. Brian oh is God. the loneliest number. That's an old one. That is. <laughs> That's a real old one. Yeah, but also very true. Very true. Uh, the, the, one of the newer uh, downloads for Beat Saber Man, Pop Stars by KDA. Freaking, the Legal Legend song. It's, it's, yeah, it's a Legal Legend song. I didn't, like, I had no context I'll for write that. it down because I... Yeah. Oh, it, have you I've, have you played it yet? Do you have Beat Saber? No. No, you don't have... Okay. Right. No, but the um, song. The song, yeah. It is what just... Is Nuts! Is like it? I, because I, I have no context. I didn't know it was a League of Legends song or anything. Um, I just okay. Um, it's like League of Legends, the game. League, League of, Legends, of Legends. Yeah, I guess they made it. There was some big, um, big event or big competition, and that that was like their rollout. They actually had. Um, uh, and you can look up the video. So at the the show, um, 
and it's like a stadium full of people to watch this game. Like Korea is amazing as far as online gaming goes. And uh, they had the actual singers and performers, but then they had like um, AR versions of the characters from the game that if you were there in the venue, you could pull out your smartphone and actually see the animated characters oh, that's neat. dancing you know, um, on the stage, mapped along with the, huh. uh, the, uh, the actual performers. Uh, and you can watch, like, if you watch on YouTube, they've just, like, masked them over. Basically what you would have seen if you were there. Huh. But uh, it's it's actually four women from, uh, I think, three different K-pop groups get together to make this. Besides the one, it's freaking amazing. Yeah. And I think out of all of the songs on Beat Saber right now, it's one of the best, like, choreographed. Just the motions yeah. that you're doing while you're playing it really just feel, flow with the music. It's it's an amazing. And I haven't, it's weird, I haven't bought it on anything. Mm-hmm. So the only time I listen to it is when I'm playing Beat Saber, but I will go and you know play that like 15 times in a row. Yeah, just to hear the song. Nice, it's awesome. Huh? Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> um, I um I've been well. See now, what made me think of this is I started listening to a CD. I was gonna say record, but that's way dating me. Yeah. yeah. So CD. Actually, if it, now records are back in. So like. Oh, records oh, are yeah. back. Oh, in? totally. Yeah, you've not, undated yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah. for real. Yeah, oh, yeah nobody so buys it anymore. I'm it's, hip. It's either uh, a cool dad. MP3, Apple Music, or LPs. Hmm. Oh, hey. Oh, Wolfie, thank you very much. Check Sonic Boom 6. Great ska punk band. I'll so, write it down. So for those of you who are new to us here, uh, Wolfie Smith gave us a two-quid donation. So thank you very much for yes, that. Yes, thank you. And uh, pretty much we will automatically read anything you put if you give us money. Yeah, we sort yeah. of just stop everything we're doing and read your comment <laughs> yeah. out loud and respond money. to it. Yes. What, what did he say? Did I miss um, it? Uh, he wants me to check out Sonic Boom 6. That's, that's the name of a band? Yes, great ska punk band. Wow, I'm, yeah. I'm, pff, I'm bad at this. I Which, won't. Oh, you know Johnny what, Menthology. Oh. Hey, Johnny. Mentology. Mentology, yes. I regret missing the New Year's cast. Alas, happy 7th, 7th of January, January, lads, and happy 7th to you. I wasn't here for that one. Yeah. Isn't this uh, Epiphany or close to it? So it's you're still on a holiday. Yeah, Epiphany? technically. Epiphany. So, um, oh, no. Des, <laughs> well, Des ruins everything. It's, well, there's a lot of uh, European communities that they don't do gift giving on Christmas. Okay. They do it on Epiphany, which is traditionally the day the wise men actually came and gave the gifts. Gotcha. Which, even though my tradition is gift giving on Christmas... That makes a lot more sense to me, right? Because the whole idea was like you're giving gifts at Christmas because they give gifts at Christmas. It's like, well, if you're going to do that, do it on the day they supposedly did. Which is like in the spring, technically. Well, it's it's no, it's a couple weeks after uh, actual Christmas. I think I think it's January eighth. I could be wrong. Well, then uh, they say the birth of Jesus. Oh, oh, that, oh, yeah, that's, that whole that's, aspect that's, of yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Um, so I've been so I've been listening to just one tune. Like I'm not going to get into the album because it happens to be. Uh, Marilyn Manson's Antichrist Superstar. Oh wow! <laughs> I started listening to that again. Going I'm like, this is pretty, final. still pretty solid. Yeah. But um, I've been stuck listening over. It's uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. It's this Australian band. Okay. Like if you know Tame Impala and you have fucking Pandora, it'll lead you to King Impala. Gizzard. Wow. I've heard but about them Sleepwalker a lot. is the tune. It's like I keep. I've listened to it probably like 14 times this past week. Yeah. And I'm sure there'll be another one next week because there's always one that I keep going back to. And uh, I mean, or you know, get stuck on that's something new. So uh, I just I love listening to new new music yeah, and discovering nice. new music. So I figured we could all oh, talk about cool. something we're stuck on for the week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's what's Dan's brother's band? Uh, uh, Ryan. Remember? Oh, anyways, all right. This is just to talk about punk. Okay. Hey, Shalon Deadly Gamers. Shalon Deadly Gamers, two dollars US, and he and he says uh, he actually said that if we go to the third oak tree in the woods. <laughs> um, we will buried under the tree that I made love to my wife at that one. I'm trying to get into Shawshank Redemption. All oh, right, right. right. Um, You'll find how did a rock he? That should not be there. You find a rock? Yeah. So it has yeah. no unearthly reason to be there. So did he do that? It makes no sense. That always bugged me about that. God. Did, and who was it who said we're going to get into 80s movies? So we moved on. Yeah. It's like late 90 movies. So, so Shailen, we will read any comment that we can actually read. Yes. So thank you for your support. Thank you for those um, things. Why can't we read it? Because uh, he wrote it in uh, Chinese. Yeah. Hold uh, on. i got yes. to refresh my chat here. Yep. I like literally in Chinese characters. I, we can, we so. can just copy and paste and put it into Google oh, Translate. That's true. Oh, but doesn't it, it doesn't really do well with Chinese, does it? We'll find out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Uh, did, so see. did they put that there? Did he King, go and put that there? 
in the box and then assume yeah. he was going to go to jail and meet yeah. fucking him? Or did well, he like say it and remember this tree and I'm going to make the journey and I'm going to go there and I'm going to yeah. hope the tree's there and I'm going to bury this and hope that Andy gets out one day and actually fucking does this shit? Yeah, well, I mean, that's a lot of times a great when you, chance. you know, okay, I did X... I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get so you you know you hide the stash somewhere. Shallow and Deadly Gamer says, "I challenge you for a duel." <laughs> Heck yeah, that's that's what it translates are you a, directly. Into. Are you a fencer? Maybe he wants to play Spark. Definitely. Got some Jeffy people Condor. who know of Tame and Pollar in there. Yeah, Jeffy uh, Con Doyle throwing in two bucks. Deftones for life, my favorite band. Def that is an acceptable answer. Uh, they actually they just came to um they just came to Worcester a month or two ago. That was very exciting. Hey Justin, hmm. I didn't realize they were. Around there's so many Wait, bands no. from way back. No, who am I thinking of? No, that was, that was that, no, um, I'm not a, like I'm still around. Let's see. I always got to scroll back and see what people wrote. Mm. And I, I see a lot of. Uh, oh no, it wasn't Deftones. Who was it? Um, now I'm. God, what was it? Oh. That came where? I came to Worcester. I mean, it like what? The, it was the, no. It was they were at the, the Palladium. Another oh, the Palladium. huge punk band. Um, oh my god I can picture the album cover <laughs> anyways but. my buddy works at the Palladium too on the side he's been there like 60 he's like the second longest oh. employee there besides oh Coco pad kid poured curd pulled curd wow <laughs> who's pad kid I, I, I'm i thinking bad kid pulled cord I don't know I, this is a reference I am not getting I'm, I'm sorry um, poured curd pulled cord I think he's trying to make you say Sally sells seashells by the seashore ah yeah I think something along those lines yeah. so he, she, he seashells said, said, by the what we, we did we did say we would read any comment that came across this is true yeah, I think he's true. testing uh, your yeah. ability yeah. to right. do such there's a thing behind that Sally sold seashells there's like yes she's actually talking about um, oh gosh what's her name but she basically uh, was pretty much one of the people discover, uh, credited with discovering and identifying uh, fossils so even though uh, something, yes. yeah, a lot of 18th century scientists were like, oh, we did this, that. She was actually one who started categorizing them and classifying them, just kind of with no scientific training. Um, and But yeah, they, they did sell them at her parents' store as well. Huh. But blows my mind that people are yeah. out there thinking that's a bunch of bullshit, yeah. that there's no dinosaurs. Uh, Clark and anybody, yeah, anything. Is that what yeah. the, uh, one, of, one of my favorite t-shirts is the Teach the Controversy shirts. Have you seen that? No. Um, so that was a, a, a thing in like... It's still a thing where, like, okay, we want equal time for creationism in the schools. We're going to try to get people to teach the controversy. So there's this great company that made up these series of T-shirts. Their first one is to teach the controversy, and then it had a picture of the devil burying uh, fossils in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But they have, yeah, I have one for pretty much every conspiracy theory or belief you can you can imagine. Tool. Um, tool. Did I tell you that to story of tool? I, With you the, told me the, the story about a tool. Thing in my eye. A tool in your eye? I did. I told that story. You got a tool in your eye. No. <laughs> no. I, I, I think there's a lot of game cats that would uh, want to hear that story. <laughs> Just the blunt end of it tapped my eye and my forehead a couple times. Boom. But no, um, yeah, Tool, Undertow was a great album. Yeah. Prior to that was Opiate, which mm -hmm. was a fantastic album. I didn't really dig Tool after Opiate. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Undertow. Um, but I bought a shirt. I did discuss this once. It, it was a tool shirt, and it said tool, the fashion like they always did with the black yep. writing that says tool with an image yep. Yep. behind that was clearly of, of Jesus with the crown of thorns, and it said on the back, all chiefs, no Indians, or vice versa, all Indians, no chiefs. Okay. So um, at the time, I, I definitely was a little bit more believing in, in, in certain things. So okay. I, I felt, ah... I like Tool, but I'm not really a fan of what it's trying to say. Okay. Like I feel, you know, there shouldn't be this. And um, but I bought it anyways, going against what I believe. Mm -hmm. The day I wore it, I ended up getting like a sliver, somehow. Yeah. I don't remember underneath my eyelid. Oh. How fucked up a sliver, first of all, and yeah, the yeah. thing was a crown of thorns. So right. <laughs> I had to get to the point at my buddy's house where they had to like take and lift my eyelid up. And get a Q-tip and oh. take out this teeny little sliver. Nope. I nope. fucking nope. kid you not. I gave that shirt away. I took it. I said, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's karma because I'm wearing a shirt that goes against something that I feel I believe in. I mean, times have changed. I'm 20 right. years older, but hey. Like, that shirt is worth 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'll never wear a shirt of something I don't believe in again. Okay. So rubbing lotion made out of a human. That's fine. Yeah, with that's, me. that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Anyways, uh, all right. I believe uh, in Quill. J- We're J- live. Here we are. So JD sent me a text going, Brian, you look pissed off. Are you okay? I was like, I'm just, <laughs> no, just trying not. to get the show together. Yeah. Right? It, it, it was bad enough we started 15 minutes late. Yeah. But on top of that, um, I didn't have anything imported into OBS. And even worse than that, mm. as soon as you have a live stream going, you can't actually get anything oh. fixed oh, so okay. there's going to be a lot of like 720 things that are going to be like smaller than they should be or 1080p things that are bigger than right. they should be so this stream or this uh this this games cast live yeah uh, is going to be every aspect of live possible meaning a total fucking shit show <laughs> uh, i'm nice. not pi- i'm not pissed at all uh, i'm finally caught up and we, we have a show together um <laughs> dexatron yes all right don't worry about the sliver worry about the plank in your neighbor's eye <laughs> which is a nice inversion yeah, of the uh perfect yeah. Uh, so, uh, so this PSVR games cast live. We actually talk about PlayStation VR occasionally on the show. We do. Hey, I'm um, like thirty three minutes in, <laughs> right? Thirty three goddamn minutes. Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, a that, that tops great, it. The, the That's comment, the best one. The comment on the raw data. The guys, oh, it's too much discussion. Someone said, "Well, just wait 30, 33 minutes in." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, the, the, the raw, boys. raw data uh, discussion was, was very interesting, man. Um, yeah. it, it was fascinating to see people who had a lot of uh, a lot of um, cri- criticisms of the show who mm-hmm. hadn't watched it yet. Uh, it was fascinating to see people who were watching it for the first time yeah. uh, and uh, and not fans of it. Uh, but I, but I guess say um, no matter what anyone says, what anyone what anyone suggests uh, as far as this channel is concerned. Why we love PSVR is something that I'm very, very proud of. It's a show that we put a lot of time and effort into. Yeah. Uh, it's evolved over the years, mm-hmm. and uh, and now it is something that I look forward to doing every single week. It's one of my favorite things to do on this channel, um, and and that's and that's always going to be the way. Without Pearl Works, I've always wanted to create my favorite YouTube channel, yeah. and uh, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, Without Pearl has yeah. become over the last two years my favorite YouTube channel. Yeah. Well that, well, that well, that whole discussion did start like a nice conversation with me and my daughter about like creating content and criticism and things like that on the internet. And it's like, you know, and I guess tell was like, look, we will absolutely. And uh, I, I, I wish I could remember the po- original. Well, not the original poster, but the poster who had that really well thought out kind of thing. Yeah, we'll always listen to and accept criticism. Absolutely. Um, you know, if it's put it like that, like if someone just walked by, like you guys suck, which we get all the time. Yeah, like, absolutely. No, you're, you're 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 blocked. Goodbye. <laughs> if you want to have a discussion, and like yeah, and give us a chance, to, like you know, he said like, hey, this is the things I like and why I like them and right. why you think you should do them, and we got a chance to say, okay, that, you know, that's a great show. Right. <laughs> Basically, you know, you, you're absolutely right. Those are good things for a show to have. We don't do that because we like this, that, and the other thing. Mm-hmm. And instead of just yelling and saying, "Oh, you're stupid, you're stupid, you suck," and we're actually, like, you know, able to talk like adults. Yeah. It was, yeah uh, so it was Yannick Borassa that Holy. I pinned. Oh, Yannick Borassa. Yeah. I subbed the game cat. Oh, hey, Mario, we give you a shout yeah. out from Game Cat last Donkey week. Donkey Kong Country, fifty dollar, well, fifty <laughs> something. Split a pizza on me, guys. That's uh, Danish Krona. Thank yes. you. We, we, we um, have discussed that once before. Actually, yeah. I said the GameCat got a shout out for changing his name tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. He's got to come over so we can lay down so we can and, throw the pizza on him. And, and more split importantly, it. split a pizza. Oh, my God. I would. Dead Ringer. Thanks. That was me. That said, skip 35 goddamn okay, minutes. <laughs> Dead Ringer's yeah. awesome. I see Dead, yeah. I see Dead Ringer on Reddit all the time as well. Yeah. And I, I, whenever I whenever I say something on Reddit, I do mm-hmm. it as that would be dark. Yeah. I don't do it as like without parole or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but but there are certain game cats out there that yeah. like recognize my screen name. And they're always like, "Hey, thanks, Brian." And Dead, <laughs> Ring, Dead Ringer, I always I always yeah, notice you. Actually, I, I, you know what? Dead Ringer even meows on. on I was Reddit. gonna bring this up kind of behind the scenes. I'll ask you guys here, like, how do you feel about interacting with the PSVR? community on reddit like i i'm i i'm always feel a little iffy because especially if they're talking about us i'm like i don't want to go in there and say hey you know yeah. here's me but is that something people want like, if, if people if people are talking about us on on reddit i usually go in upvote and, yeah. then, and then i back out i'm like okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to i don't need to take any attention away from well, people the, talking yeah. that's what i'm worried about it's like yeah i don't know reddit don't, don't that screw well. it if it's, i i have twitter because brian made me get it day mm-hmm. one so I have that, and yeah. I've been trying lately to actually use it. Besides yeah. just liking stuff that um, Madman sends out and retweeting yeah. stuff, <laughs> or you guys' stuff, uh, I've sent out some random shit. But I'm so nervous. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if this is gonna be read and out there forever, you know. But yeah. the whole Reddit thing, I've gone to that, and that's got a whole new thing that's not like hashtag. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know what the fuck. I can't <laughs> search for PSVR. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Reddit is deliberately difficult to get into. They yeah. want to make it this like, oh, if you want to be in here, you need to learn the rules and be part of the community and figure right. out how we do things. And if you want to be in here, make sure you take a picture of your PSVR headset box before you open it and, to, <laughs> and, and then make a, another post 
so that everyone can see that you joined the community and make sure you take a video of every single person in your family playing Beat Saber for the first time and make sure you put a new post on all those. Those aren't actually rules. And also on Reddit, make sure you say you have to create a different post every time you have this thought, people. Make sure you go, boy, you know, I think Bioshock would be great in VR. (laughs) Really? It's Boy, I think Jack and Dexter would be great in VR. Boy, you know what game I just thought of that would be great in VR? We've already thought of it. <laughs> it's, no, it's, Reddit just like baffles me. It's like, does anybody even search and go, no. oh, do I really need to make another post on the exact same thing that a hundred other people that's, already posted? That's about? the joy of reposts. Oh, yeah. I, this is why I, I go on Reddit like once a week now instead yeah. of once a day. I'm just like, I'm just like, I know what it's going to be. Yeah. I totally know what it's going to be. It's going to be a bunch of misinformation and a well, bunch of people taking pictures of things that I've already seen other people take pictures of. Is that what it is? And, and our yeah, subscriber it's, drive. It's like Facebook. <laughs> I don't have Facebook. I never did. Yeah. Well, this is why I don't really use Facebook either. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a lot yeah. of the exact same stuff. A JD uh, Max, yeah, the, the good point. Our Reddit is the PSVR GameCat community on PS4. There you go. Yeah. That's very that um, and that one I can understand. Although I don't yeah. agree with Sony's way of fucking spreading out everything via apps. Uh, Chris Markin yeah, absolutely agrees with you, Brian. He says Reddit same questions over and over, asking questions just for the sake of asking, etc. Yeah. So I will I will back off that a little bit. There's um uh, Merlin Man podcaster, fantastic guy. Uh, he has something he says a lot. Bad game cat. Thank every you. Every day much. there's someone born who's never seen the Flintstones. So I get, I get it. You know, I like, get it. But there's a there's a search function for a reason. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and it's like, and I and I just and I get it, I get it, I get it. But but man, like, I don't know. I just yeah. <laughs> I, I just for for me, mm-hmm. for me, and for us, and for people who have like you know been part of this community and, and been like entrenched in the PSVR ecosystem for so long. Yeah, but, you know, it's like I, I welcome every single person that comes through the door and every single person who has a question and asks in their comments. I answer the same question over and over and over yeah. because I want to make sure everyone gets the answer. Yeah, but 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 to go to go outside of our yeah. bubble okay. and, and go and go. Well, I'm going to go to somebody else's universe. I'm going to go to Reddit. You know, where Miss Molotov takes care of things, not mm-hmm. me, Miss Molotov. Uh-huh. Right. So like, uh, and, and, to, and to watch a whole other list of people ask the same questions, that's a different yeah. story. I'm, I back uh, out of that. Yeah, so we're going to say, uh, is that Baz? Baz the game cat? Mm-hmm. One dollar. <laughs> Please yeah. tell me it's Baz Luhrmann. Please tell me it's Baz Luhrmann. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's Baz Luhrmann. Probably not. I, th- I think after making Moulin Rouge, he had better things oh, to do. I saw Moulin uh, the he actual... Made, he made Australia. I saw the movie too, I Moulin Rouge. Know, I've only seen There's, Moulin Rouge oh, wow. seventeen hundred times. I love that movie. So I saw much. it once, maybe four years ago. The lady friend made me watch yeah. it. Then we actually stayed at a hotel down the street from the actual oh, okay. Moulin Rouge. I have photos and in that box device that's behind so, me. So Shallon Deadly Gamers is quickly <laughs> becoming my favorite commenter. Yeah, uh, for two dollars says, "What game is this?" <laughs> The which, Game of Reality. Which is, this which, is Ass Hat Simulator yes. 2019. Which is quickly becoming another inside joke yeah. of Without Parole because whenever yeah. I do a live stream, the first 20 comments from yeah. people who are just joining the stream are always, what game is this? <laughs> or, what, or what's it's this game about? No, it's, it's, so obviously he's in on the joke. Wow. Yeah. And I absolutely love him for it. Dave Page said there's a guy at his local GameStop who doesn't know who Alanis Morissette is. Wow. Well, good for so, you. I guess I can understand that, though. So how young do oh, you uh, have to be to not like have well, seen sh- Ironic a thousand times on MTV? You have to, what do you have to be, a 20 now? Wait, is Ironic one of the no. tune names? Ironic was Wait, the biggest Atlantis Morissette. Oh, was it? That was, that was like the biggest think? Atlantis Morissette video like ever. Rain. And so, but like you have to be... On your wedding what? day. That, that probably came out in 98 or Probably around, around the 90s, yeah. Like late 90s. Yeah. 2000, maybe close to that. Yeah. So you have to be like either Just a teenager or about 20 years old to have no idea what that is. Right? One hand in my figured. pocket and the other no, one's I'm holding good. a fucking No one's giving a high five. What depends. Different times. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But Boz actually... He needs to correct. The question never went on. He had a question. Oh, okay. Or, um, have you guys seen the Defender 5 aim stock? Is that one of those uh, 3D printed ones? Oh, you mean the one I have in the other room? I have a Defender 5 in the other room. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it, it, like, I, 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 it's, it's basically a 3D printed piece of plastic or two yeah. pieces of plastic that attach to your aim controller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, Jeremy, actually, do you want to, do you want to scrap it? Of course. I, <laughs> oh, I, you mean the okay. device. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Grab it. Why is that? Jack slippers. What is MTV? What is MTV? Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. remember. We can't that. forget how old we are compared to some right, people. Well, no, um, you see where it is? Yeah. It's like kind of sort of attached to the aim controller. Would you like me to bring the aim? Control? Why not? Everyone can see how dirty my aim controller is. It's actually like, like legit dirt on there. You didn't bring the aim controller. You wanted me to? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? that's it. Why? Why did I answer? 
Did you? That's a piece of PVC. That's all it is, yeah. Oh. It's the Defender. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. I saw someone... But this um, one actually printed on the side. It says the Defender. So this is the one he's talking about. Okay. So Yeah, this is not the one I've seen. So it is legit. Aim controller. Mm-hmm. And... Hold on. Okay, please, and thank Too you. legit. Too legit to quit. Uh, and then... There are many like it, but this one is mine. No, this one is Brian's. Yeah, let me just double check here what I'm supposed to be doing. Put it the okay. other way where it's Yeah, there you go. So That's so there. this yeah. goes in here. And then this goes around here, and then it, and then there are screws in the bottom, and and then once you have it all screwed in, it, you get to this is your stock. Okay. Huh. Right. Oh, and it's definitely three D printed. Definitely three D printed, uh, but it does the job, right? Okay. My issue is now the this, is it the, a job needs doing. The, the the developer of this sent me an email and he said and he said hey do you want to check this out and I said absolutely yeah. It showed up like a week ago, and I haven't even had time to like actually screw it I in and be like it. and try it out and see if it works. Mm. My only issue is, is like, I mean, actually on screen, this looks pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, and I'm holding it together because I, don't, I haven't screwed in the screws. I never, at any point during even like five hour play sessions with Firewall, right, felt like I needed any kind of aim support. Yeah, yeah. Right. So this is like some. So qu- we're just like, we're we're almost missing a yeah uh, yep. great here. tantrum. Oh, hey, great tantrum. $5 and great tantrum. Here's for more pizza or coffee. Yay. I enjoy your shows. I need more Thank you. We, we enjoy your company. <laughs> One of these days we have to just start with a pizza on the table. I, you know, I think about yeah. it pretty much every week. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> Brian's going to lose a few holidays. It's pounds. true, yeah, dead ringer. Because, I mean, honestly, the, the point of a stock in an actual gun is to help you absorb the recoil. Right, and of That's course... The, it's not to ergonomics to make it easier to carry. Right. It's because you need it butt up against your shoulder so when you fire, you can absorb the shock. Right. That's the point of a stock. I I don't know. Am I missing something on I how th- people are using this? Are they actually giving themselves the recoil? I think to help steady it, you know, like especially especially well, if you yeah. are doing long play sessions you, and your okay. arms are getting tired. I can totally <laughs> see the Defender helping out. Um, but <laughs> man. Since we're having pizza and coffee, we gotta have a snorgy. Thanks, well, man. Five, man. Dollar, uh, five pound, five quid. Pounds, baby, pounds. Five See, there's donation. another jerky boy reference. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the donation, yeah. and I think Same a snorgy one. is definitely in order. I have jury duty tomorrow. Well, you what? You have yeah. to leave your house? Yeah, you're I don't know how to do that. How you're gonna have a wow. snorgy at jury duty? No, but like I kind of want to have one in preparation of. I bet you can get out of jury duty if you say I gotta get this a snorgy. Right. <laughs> They'd be like, um, well, maybe we should call him. Yeah. Uh, how much is the stock, and where can we get? Yes, it? how much is that? Yeah, stock? let me yeah. How let, let me look online because and, oh, that's a that's a very good question. How do you use the top buttons and joystick? I think no, you have no, to set all, it back just enough so that you can like freely move it. It doesn't like push right, yeah, right yeah, against it. It's not in the way of anything. Yeah, like, it like, looks I, pretty neat. It doesn't look like it's right, you know right. a if, bad. If this is something you're interested in, like this one works very very well. Like I mean, yeah. in terms of like in terms of functionality, in terms of the, I mean the, the build quality, it's it's right. exactly what you're looking for. You have the choice. I mean, you can offset it to wherever you want. It doesn't have to be in the position Brian showed you. So you can actually right. Put it on any side, however you'd like. If you really need to get to, I the, can't the imagine buttons. wanting to do it that yeah. way. Though, if you're like this, I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother that. It yeah. may bother like the this PlayStation button, which you'll never. Oh, yeah, you just right. turn down my PlayStation. Oh, yeah. God PlayStation. damn it! Yeah, I have to be very careful sometimes when I <laughs> opening up my PlayStation because I have accidentally stopped a stream. I did. Uh, I was doing something, putting my uh, aim controller in my yeah. closet, and I accidentally hit it. And I'm like, "Son of a bitch!" Because I hear it in the other room. I heard like, beep, yeah. and then my PlayStation was on. Well, f- f- no, what I did was uh, Brian has one of his um, profiles on my PlayStation, so we can do streaming and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, one day I was at home, and I fired it up like. You know, there's that moment between when the headset actually starts up where everything's black. Yes. Like, oh, I know what profile it's on. So I just, you know, hit the the button to log into my profile before I saw anything. Yeah. I logged into him while he was streaming. (laughs) Oh, no. And kicked him. Oh, I am so sorry. All right. Uh So it looks like there's a couple different versions of this. Hmm. Um, I don't see the difference between. So if you you want to see what we're seeing, it's uh, www. Does, does it, no, you it have to do that anymore? No, you don't. H T T W W right so colon slash slash. slash. Uh, it's a uh, so P S V R aim stock all one word dot com, and uh, it's 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 showing Defender V three aim controller stocks now shipping. V three goes for forty dollars. Mm-hmm. Now, there's another v- version that's saying ugly stocks yeah. B stock units for twenty five on sale. It's probably ones that didn't come out as clean or. Oh, you never, think that's yeah. the case? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Almost so certainly. so basically, you're 3D printing about, is a bear. So you're looking at about forty bucks for this thing, um, 
And uh, I mean, you know, if if all you're doing is playing Firewall mm. uh, like twenty four seven, like I know a lot yeah. of fucking people do. Yeah. You know, I go on and people are just like maxed out on their levels, and they're just like, oh yeah, we've been playing for seven hours today. It's all we do every day. You know. Wow. I join sometimes. It's awesome when sometimes I get into a team. Seven hours to game. It's great when I when I throw when I get into a team of three people. Yeah. Who like just lost their buddy because he had to like go do some real life something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then suddenly I'm like with these amazing amazing Firewall players, yeah. and then I'm like, oh hey guys, and they're like, hey <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna recruit you and show how you show you how we do this. And yeah. Like, all right, cool. Yeah, cool. And, uh, and and very frequently they're amazing, and uh, and so I'm leveling up like crazy because I'm just riding their coattails. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Just, just going back because this thought is stuck in my head and I will explode if I don't get it out. Yeah. WWW mm-hmm. is one of the only abbreviations that's three times longer than the actual words. <laughs> yeah. Worldwide, Worldwide Web, Web is three w. syllables. Yeah. WWW is like W W. Yeah, it's nine, nine. syllables. Yeah. So another thing that they're selling here on PSVRAMstock.com. Um, he, uh, yeah, that's they're, they're, interesting. They're selling. They're calling it a PSVR Light Shield Version One Experimental Drift Blocking Solution. And what it is, it's a oh. ring that they basically put behind the the glowing bulb on the on the aim. And I guess this blocks. So it doesn't like. It do doesn't reflect on other things. Thingy. Right. Yeah, so but this is specifically from the headset, which I that was one thing I wondered about. It hasn't happened, but yeah, you have got the same color blue on the headset as you do here, and if you're bringing. The gun up here, I can totally see, depending on your camera angles and lighting, where the the headset could start getting confused. Is it blue in Firewall? Because I know it changes for different games. Uh, you know, I don't know. Good question. Um, I calibrate. I have my night. I have my headset on. So, <laughs> but that's <laughs> yeah, the, I, to answer the question. That's the Defender. Nice. Yes. Uh, in uh, I will. I would love to say you Drizzles know, four ninety nine. Happy Tuesday, my dudes. Thank you very much, Thanks, my dudes. Drizzle. I'm so far behind on the chat. I'm trying to get I, caught up. I think I've done this before. Anyone else here watch Gravity Falls? No? Okay. No. All right. I think Do I've it. seen maybe... Oh, it's a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I've it's seen good stuff. Like one episode. Good stuff. You know, back on the MTV, mm. I, you ever have those things where uh, uh, obviously everything influences your dreams, but back way when I actually like could dream and remember them. Okay. So I still remember a mashup. It's like a, it was, it's like a Nip and Itchy type of game. I had a mashup. I had watched... Um, Time Bandits, because mm-hmm. I liked that movie when I was a kid. You know, it's all the yeah. little people that yeah. stole God's map to the universe and they're being chased by him. Mm-hmm. And um, anyways, I had seen that movie, and then I went to bed, and MTV was on. Me and my sister had bunk beds, and it was back when MTV used to still play music consistently. <laughs> and who did that song? What I am is what I am, and what you are. What oh, you want why? is what you want. yeah. Uh, so uh, Edie Brickell? Edie no. Brickell. Yeah, it is Edie Brickell. That is yeah. it. You're good. That tune and oh, Ghost of a Dog is one of my favorite albums of all time. Small People from Time Bandits. Mm-hmm. I remember being in my dream and I was with them and she kept throwing... It wasn't she, her. Yeah. It was a woman okay. in my dream. And she, we were standing on a beach and she just kept throwing them in the water. And then while that music was playing in my head and I remember waking up and the song was playing on the TV and I was young, so I was like, yeah. wow. I, I just, it was kind of, I think, a first <laughs> yeah. experience where that sound was in my head while I dreamed, right. and I realized I was then being influenced by it. But, anyways. Uh, we've got, oh, greetings from Hamburg, Germany. Mofon VR, thank you. And welcome. Thank you. Uh, Baka no Nuchan. I watched Gravity Falls. Yay. <laughs> um, yeah, it, I, I think it's really, uh, it's just cool. It's like an animated series where the creator was like, no. I want two seasons and I'm done. I'm going to tell my story and it's going to be over. There's not going to be like 15 seasons because it was popular and it's hugely popular. Yeah. And uh, so and we so we started watching it. I think it was was on Netflix. it's it's I think it's for sure it's on Hulu. Maybe it was on Netflix, but it doesn't matter. What are we talking about? Uh, Gravity, Gravity Falls. Falls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Someone 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 confirmed that it exists. Let, let, so. let me let me yeah. know when the topic changes. I'll catch you. <laughs> okay. <on. laughs> it's just it's a, a pretty cool show. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Use Spotify with Ultra Wings. Yeah, use Spotify with everything. I yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so back to games. Oh, yeah, we can talk about games. I guess sure. that's, that's a thing. Uh, so, again, again, the show was put together at the last minute. Don't expect any of these uh, trailers <laughs> to be the size or, or the resolution that they're supposed to be. Uh, sorry about that in advance. Mm. Um, but I guess we should talk about what games are coming out this, this week. This week. And, and, it's, and it's super duper easy because there's only one of them, and here it is. Hey, look, this one's actually the right resolution. Hey. Megalith. Uh, this is Megalith by Disruptive Games. We, we all played an open beta uh, of this. This one, okay. Um, very, much, very much a hero shooter for PSVR. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, it is 
I mean, I gotta say, when I played the beta, mm-hmm. I was a little underwhelmed. Yeah, uh, there was there weren't many maps, there weren't many characters, and, uh, and and we're hearing that the final game doesn't really improve on very much of that at all. Oh, yeah, because this looks so pretty. Right, that at least does. this does. Yeah, yes. that's, that's a good point. <laughs> what I played several yeah. weeks back was definitely not as exciting as what I'm seeing here. No. Now, is this the same trailer they had before the beta came out? Uh, this is, uh, I want to say the beta, this is a trailer from the beta days. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, That's and, the master beta. So this is what Apparently they're claiming. I've played the limp beta. Right. Yeah, no, this is this is pretty much how it looks in, in the pro. It looks, okay. It looks pretty good. Um, it, it's got a nice art style, obviously. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, bright and colorful, and Jeremy should like that. Um, but but again, it's it's you're on the teams of two. Right. Yeah. Like, I just don't, I just don't really see, uh, oops. On fade. There we go. I just don't. I don't really see any like long term appeal. I feel like there's something everyone's going to play for a week and go. All right, thirty dollars done. Yeah, yeah thirty dollars. I you know I yeah. I can't say it's not worth it. I just not my type of game. I just played it, and that was it. And I knew it wasn't going to be my type of game, but so I'm not going to say it's not worth the thirty. Based on what I played in the in the in the beta, like I'm like this is a ten dollar game. Well, yeah, that you know? yeah, the and price so, point just is not much. It doesn't seem to it. So like you know, we'll, we'll no obviously no later today yeah. um, when I finally get a chance to sit down and play the game, uh, the final game. Uh, we'll know if, like how much more has been brought to the table. Right. Currently, it doesn't seem like that much more. But if maybe someone out there has already had a chance to sit down and try it. Okay. UK one Steve one UK. Give us a wave, Brian, please. Okay. <laughs> was, that, was that for was that for hire? Did I get paid for that? I uh, guess no, no, we didn't get paid for that. Well, fuck it. Why'd you make me do that? <laughs> you can't, you can't make demands if you're not giving us money. That's right. Jesus Christ! Fair. I don't That's know how fair. this works. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that was uh, that was Megalith, and, and but there was a little bit of confusion today, or a little mm-hmm. bit of confusion, I guess, this week, uh, because I guess over on like a European oh, yeah. PlayStation blog, yeah, they uh, they accidentally listed uh, something that's not coming out this week. And that's bum, bum, that's bum. something that shouldn't look like this because see how everything's kind of shoved in the corner. Yeah, that, that's, that's yeah, okay. that's damn. Sometimes you gotta yep. just close one eye and you'll put be fine. things over in the other <laughs> corner. <laughs> I just want to drag it. I want to fix it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, so this is this is Chroma Gun. Chroma Gun is getting a PlayStation VR patch. Uh, it is it was mistakenly listing on on the uh, on the European PlayStation blog as coming out this Friday. Um, they, this has been in development forever. Like yeah, this, yeah. it's been like two years, I think, since the actual game came out. And I think they thought, I think uh, Pixel Maniacs thought this was going to be like a pretty easy uh, port to do. Uh, and, <laughs> you poor bastards! And, because because I mean, I, we've been hearing oh, about shit, it. Shit, that's right. We've been hearing about this forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? For well over a year. And uh, it does have aim support, and, and it's going to be awesome when it comes out. It's sort of like the best version of Portal we have. I know. I, I actually. Okay, I'm glad you finished that sentence. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's. I mean, it's not. You know, it doesn't do nearly the kinds of things that Portal does, yeah. but it's the same type of puzzle yeah. solving. Um, and, uh, and and it looks like it's going to be great. I actually downloaded this for PS4 proper like forever ago. Yeah. I think it was on sale for like five bucks, and I was like, sweet, I'll play this when it hit when PlayStation VR support hits. Nice. We don't know if it's going to be like a whole new download or what the deal is going to be. I'm assuming okay. we have to pay for it again. Um, especially with all the time that it took. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. It's so long ago that stick figures were relevant then. I'm so <laughs> fucking over that bumper sticker thing there with stick figures and shit. So whenever anything like this happens, whenever we get news as like, oh, hey, you know, the PlayStation blog in the UK or the EU or the whatever, you know, reported that this game's coming out on the on Friday, I suddenly I go, wait, 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 what? Yeah. Because here I, I'm supposed to be on top of these things. And, uh, you know, PSVR this week already went up, and I was like, we didn't cover that. And so I immediately, you know, immediately reach out to developers and go, hey, is this actually happening? And they respond. They're like, "No, it's not. No. <laughs> this this is totally an accident. Uh, sorry for the yeah. confusion. Trust us. You'll have a you'll have a review key when before the game comes out. So it is still slated. It's still coming. It's not like it's oh, just it's still all in development for sure. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not this just, soon. It just mistakenly got listed. Now the other side of this coin is that this is the exact same thing that happened to uh, Downward Spiral Horror Station. Mm-hmm. It got accidentally listed on on um, on a PlayStation blog somewhere yeah. as, as coming out on the drop and. Uh, and, and then it and then the developers like no it's not trust us don't worry it's not coming out and then it did then it, <laughs> and they were and, and they were like uh, that wasn't supposed to happen right. yeah. so I'm, I'm a little everybody. bit nervous yeah. because Sony isn't just putting this up there for no reason yeah. they have it slated for release yeah, yeah and I have a I have a bad feeling that we're gonna get like a not quite final version of Chroma Gun launched mm. on Friday yeah. somewhere it's like they thought the book report was due next Friday and it's like really due this Friday type yeah. of thing they gotta hand it in yeah, and like Downward Spiral was months like months off it was like two months I think oh. or at least a month off Back of the uh, a little bit um someone uh Scruffzilla what, what, what? 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, episode, with the Oculus Quest coming in a few months and it being wireless, can we expect PSVR 2 to also be wireless? No. No. Uh, Oculus Quest also, uh, let's not forget, isn't like the full-on PC Oculus VR. Okay, it's um, it's better than just your phone camera, your your phone and, and cardboard, but it's not full on. Right now, just with the available technology, you just can't get the data through fast enough yep. with wireless. Um, and yes, I know someone's gonna say, well, what about the uh, what's the thing you the battery pack and all that 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 you can do for, yeah. but it's no, it's not it's not a consumer solution. And as I've been saying since day one, what I think differentiates PSVR from all the other headsets is they know how to make stuff that can live in your living room. Yeah. And until it, until it can get to the point where they're satisfied, where they're going to get that kind of performance every time you put the headset on, I, I strongly, unless there's some <laughs> radical breakthrough in uh, technology. What's the biggest complaint? People, what? My hat's black. You, <laughs> you really need to reference the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, good. He's like one, red one, hat, one of us. Blue plaid, and then he's like blue hat, red plaid. <laughs> but it's no. I, it's I black. really wish you Can hadn't explained it. I wish we just dropped it at my hat's black and moved on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest like complaint Santa. people have again about PlayStation VR? It's too expensive. No, nope. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. No, the biggest complaint people have against PlayStation VR mm. is they put it on, like the, the naysayers out there go, this looks like PlayStation 2 graphics. This looks like PlayStation 3 graphics. You know, yeah. pe- people who are still super crazy concerned about graphical fidelity, you know, they go, oh, this is kind oh, of wrong. low resolution. Oh, this is kind of a little blurry. Yeah. You know, that's the biggest complaint people have that, like, you know, that haven't spent enough time with it, you know, that haven't taken the time and gotten immersed in a world. Mm-hmm. The immediate reaction to people is like, oh, this doesn't look good enough. And I think right. that Sony has is very much going to say, hey, with the power of the PlayStation Five, you know, we want to address that concern. Yeah. You know, and so if with a standalone headset, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. You know, you need that cable that's going to link the headset to the PlayStation Five to get the fullest get amount the of power juice possible. From that fucker. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I think it's going to be less bulky. It's not going to be a breakout yeah. box yeah. and like some you know bulky wires. I think it'll be one simple wire that'll be much easier to hide. Gamers, I think so, that'll yeah, that'll be more likely. So one thing, gamers are tough critics yeah. because it, I mean you, you go to a 3D movie and it isn't like reality you know living in a, a 3D dimension a third dimension seeing things an object you go and you see a 3D movie and it's like yeah if you move a certain angle it's like your eyes hurt and it like looks neat when it's there and it's enjoyable yeah. you know but you put on VR and it's like ugh this looks like PlayStation well alright yeah it does but you're inside but of a PlayStation you're in fucking game. inside of it yeah, yeah no shit I mean, I, I've made no secret I hate the whole like oh what makes a game good is the highest, best, high fidelity graphics. Like, no. No. Think you of can... the classics from 25, right. 30 years yeah. back. Unbelievable titles will... that were like polygons just walking around. Doing absolutely shit. sacrifice graphical fidelity for good gameplay any day of the week. I, mean, yeah. I stopped yeah. being impressed by graphics mm-hmm. right around the time PS3 rolled around. Yeah. You know, PS3, Xbox yeah. 360 era. Like, I was like, I was like, okay, everything now is like a high resolution. It looks great on my HDTV. Yeah. And as long as it's re- things are running at like about yeah. 30 frames a second and are like decent resolution, I'm happy. Yeah. You know? And then the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One came around and I was like, and, and that's right at that time, right around the launch of PS4, you can tell mm-hmm. there's like a distinct difference in me where I'm like, I'm playing Batman Arkham uh, oh no no I'm playing uh, Blood, Bloodborne <laughs> and I'm playing yeah. Arkham Knight and I'm playing all these games and I was like I just kind of like I like these games but I feel like I've done this before so yeah. many times yeah, I, I feel like you know like I, I can't if I play another third person action platformer or another you know game in this style mm-hmm. or if like just something that doesn't innovate doesn't do anything interesting I was like even by the time Bioshock Infinite came out I was like so a PS3 era yeah. I was yeah. like I was just kind of bored of video games just, I was like this isn't doing anything no. new or yeah. interesting or or, or roping me in in any kind of yeah. like uh, you know new way. I feel like it used to be somebody had a story, a great story that mm-hmm. they manifested it into a game rather than a some a book, you know. Yeah. And it's nowadays well, it seems like they have a great gameplay mechanic that they want to work a story into rather than mm-hmm. the vice versa. I feel like when there were more stories and they were mm-hmm. excellent stories back in the older, not all of them, but a lot of them yeah, had good the stories. days. Huh? Were you saying back in the olden days? Back in the olden days. The olden days. Back in my day, computers yeah. took off the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, used a abacus. Abacus. Took abacus. me a moment. There you go. Yeah, no, I, I don't need to see like hey. the caliber markings on the back of the cartridges, uh, casings as they launch out my gun. Yeah. Right. I, I, I don't. I, I will. I will take issue though slightly with the Bioshock Infinite because I just think that was gorgeous. Like 
that used processing power to have this expansive view. It's like you walked out and you really felt like you were, you know, on these floating platforms. And I think it was a beautiful game. When you're using the power to express beauty in a, a different way sure. or new environments, yes, but just to like, yeah, so I can see the individual like creases on the fingerprints of the hand that's holding the gun. Dude, you're spending yeah. way too much time on wrong <laughs> But even problem. the gameplay, like I'm like, you know. Like, that's yeah. a real fingerprint. In, infi- yeah. in, infinite, infinite wrote me in at the, at the beginning. I was like, oh, this is new and different and, and beautiful. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, this they kind of turn this into a shooter a bit. yeah oh it's and, straight up a shooter and, and oh yeah in like these wait which game i buy infinite. infinite yeah i don't know if i played infinite oh it's good wait it's, is that the second one it's third that's one. the third one i didn't yeah first and the second are good and it, it's just like, in, in all the it's in my all, favorite in all the powers oh, and it? stuff like i was like i was like man we've done this yeah you know and I, and I think it was done better in rapture um and so 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 when vr comes around and they're like and the graphics are a giant step backwards but you actually get to be inside yeah. and actually immersed in these games people who are saying it looks like crap i'm like immediately i just i disregard your comments i disregard your opinions mm-hmm. because it feels like you've never tried VR. Right. It feels like you've never spent any significant amount of time, and you could put the headset on, but and, it, yeah. and then and then immediately run to Reddit and say, "Is this thing supposed to be this blurry?" For the seventeen thousandth time today, yeah. I'm seeing the same goddamn comment. Yeah, it's like no, it's like, take a second and try to like see what it's doing instead of what it's not, and, yeah. that's, and that's what I'm always trying to do when I review a game. Always trying to see what it's doing. Borderlands Two specifically, yeah, right. Yeah. Doesn't have the DLC. Doesn't have aim support. Doesn't have multiplayer. <laughs> so but, shaded. But, but what is it yeah. doing? Yeah. It's, fucking awesome game is what it's doing you know and so and i think too many people are looking at what it's not instead of what it is i think lethal, we- uh, lethal weasel actually uh nailed it the reason graphics became important to me in the first place is because it's the only way to increase immersion on a screen vr has broken the paradigm nailed it yeah trying to say it and he yep. can you want are you looking for it to be a podcaster <laughs> because like you can just take my spot and like save everyone like no, a half you can't an hour be, every week you can't be concise and be a podcaster because we need to fill an hour and a half so <laughs> yeah. we need to take one idea and just stretch Ew. it okay, if we actually say what we think yeah concisely we're, we're going to be done in like five minutes that's part of the only reason i'm here <laughs> that's why just I to stretch that shit out <laughs> uh we, we did get an announcement of a new game if anyone's interested oh uh this is coming from deer vr the same people who published uh uh, Dave Page, you're exactly right. Sorry, huh? keep going. My head is oh, black. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, no, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, he just, uh, I, I lost it. Oh, I just got PSVR recently. First full game I played was Astrobot. Haven't been blown away by a game since Mario 64 and 96. Yeah, it, it yeah, is the Mario. It's it's our Mario 64. Yeah. No question. Yep. I didn't like Mario 64. I didn't play it. I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't either. I really wish you would have punched them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, so I can love like in the chat. Like, oh my gosh, there's so much tension. In <laughs> What's going on? Swearing and tension. So from Deer VR, Deer, the yeah, people, the people who published, uh, not 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 developed. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was Smelly River. Yeah, uh, Code Fifty One Mecha Arena. Okay, it's, uh, but they are bringing us another PlayStation VR game again. I don't know if they're developing this or not, but it is called Kingdom of Blades. Analog. Let's check that Kingdom out. Real Blades, quick here. Blades, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Vibe Studios. Hey, guys. That doesn't guys. seem right at all. That's, um... Oh. Chester. 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 The, the okay. star. Oh, star. Got sword. Ooh. It's a star. I, I, I like swords. The good fortune of the high. I like turtles. The wise and worthy man has appeared. Okay. I can walk like a penguin. <laughs> Who knows? This, is this just dueling? I didn't watch this yet. I don't know what's happening. Immersive. It's like Fruit Ninja, but you just chop You're up. Hitting. Oh. What are those? Wait, like it is like Fruit Ninja. We have joking. Fruit Ninja. I was joking, but this looks like Fruit Ninja. Okay. I mean, more Fruit Ninja can't be bad, right? Yeah. Well, Unless it's could more, just fruit call it more Fruit Ninja. Could yeah. Call it ninja Ninja. This is, this the is... person playing is moving very slowly. I hope that's just so they can demonstrate. Probably. This this is this is Fruit Ninja. Holy shit. Yeah, it's... it is. It's just instead of Fruit... I mean, it's the same graphical style, even. It's everything. I wonder, I wonder if somebody's getting sued over this. or oh. if it's, just, it's even the same font. They should be. Really? It, it it could very well just be the next game made by the Fruit Ninja people. Who knows? <laughs> that, that 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 would be acceptable. But if it's not, someone's got some yeah, actually, explaining to do. I don't recognize those developers at the beginning of the video. Yeah. I feel like I would have if it was uh, Fruit Ninja. Hmm. This is speaking. Uh, yeah. This is concerning. Actually, we just actually right? watched the MythBusters episode where they did Fruit Ninja for real in the real world. How did that go? The, it was actually real fun to watch. Did, was was it uh, busted? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty much, it's like you just can't move fast enough. And the thing is, with an actual sword, you have to aim yeah. the cut. You can't just hit it and have it explode. And also, the biggest point they said, the gravity in Fruit Ninja is not even close to real gravity. Well, yeah, they, yeah, that would be yeah. given. And uh, like, oh, as a figure, the, the apparent apparent size, like an apple in Fruit Ninja, looks as big as a watermelon does in real life. So, uh, if you are interested in uh, in Kingdom of Blades. 
Kingdom of Blades. That mm. doesn't roll off the tongue. Uh, it will be available January 15th. All right. I so mean, well, it's coming soon. Hey, I'll keep an open mind. I mean, Fruit Ninja was... I, I forget how much Fruit Ninja actually launched that. I don't know if it was 20 bucks or something. Yeah. But it was, like, way more expensive than mm. any other version of Fruit Ninja ever, which, yeah. fine, but maybe it, not... It's also, I think, the best version of Fruit Ninja, because you're right. actually using real swords. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, but maybe a little well, cheaper would have been okay. Yes. So if this is priced accordingly, it might it might be worth checking into. Mm. It could... Just because it looks just like Fruit Ninja it might still be fun. Yeah. I'm still curious of... Angry Birds. Have we seen anything on that yet? Not yet. Very curious. How that guy has will. I think Root Ninja VR is underrated. I really, yeah. No. I, I agree. I think it's something that for some reason just gets lost in the conversation. I think oh, it's because it's, it's Fruit Ninja, and that's not very exciting to talk about. But it's a it's a really well implemented version of it. Yeah. The, the problem with Fruit Ninja is that everyone goes, "This was ninety nine cents on the on the Apple Store." Yeah. You know, or or whatever. And uh, I mean, a million other stores have it for like a buck. Mm -hmm. And so you go, "Oh, why is it why is it fifteen or however much it was in VR?" It, <laughs> It's still, if you're willing to pay the price, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And yeah. super addictive, Ooh. so for sure. Otaku is correct. The Resident Evil 2 demo is yeah. coming out January 11th. Did, yeah. did, did, did you hear the shtick about this? No. It's so, so the Resident Evil 2 demo coming the 11th mm -hmm. is a 30-minute demo. Oh, yeah, time. It, it, it's a one-shot deal. Yeah. So, you, so you get to play for 30 minutes, and if you die, fine. You go, you go back, try it again. Right. But once that timer is over... Your That's game it. is no longer valid. I used to do. Who used to oh, do that? Was I that can, Crackdown that had that? You had like thirty minutes. Was it Just Cause? They had one. We had X amount of time to play yeah. the whole game, but it was like you had an hour. You I, know? Can, I oh. will. I will say what the deal is with this. If I only have a half an hour to play the demo, I'm definitely going to play the demo. Yeah. I'm playing. Right? I'm playing it on the 11th. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very excited actually, and I was not. But then as the steam w kept rolling and. Seeing it, it was like, God damn it, that looks fucking. This will be my first time playing a PlayStation Four non VR game in like a year. I have Ooh. not even touched Red Dead Redemption in weeks, like just no time. Um, let's see, Blades from uh, Reth says that Blades from Bethesda should be getting some more news soon. Still no word on what VR will be supported. Oh, all right. I yeah, that's so, one. So of the, the news, thank yeah. you, Reth, okay. is that there isn't any news yet. Yeah. That's their news. Heard. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the update. Oh, Bethesda's okay. probably got to rethink this no, after I mean, the whole Fallout did 76 I miss something? situation. Yeah. I There's no news except that there might be news soon. Yeah, because I, I want news because Blades looks awesome. Oh yeah, no, it looks fantastic, and I, I hope, I hope, I hope because I can definitely use some more Skyrim um, in my life. But uh, let's see. Oh, adversary one. Remember Fruit Ninja on the Xbox 360 Connect? When oh my that, god, that's in that right. MythBusters episode, they actually had that set up as as part of like the interstitial that showed Adam doing that. Yeah, as his prep uh, preparation. Nice. Um, most users don't know about the IPD settings, though, Brian. We need to make it. Oh, that was from JD. Oh, the pupil distance. Yeah, we, we we talk we do talk about it pretty regularly. Yeah, um, so it's 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 hidden in the settings. Um, you can you know when you first fire up your PlayStation, it has you calibrate it and do all that stuff, which you do every once in a while, by the way. Um, but also, if you go in the settings, there is a place to calibrate your pupil distance, which yes. makes a big difference. I just or, did it last night. Yeah. Did you? Okay. Just reset everything. My control is actually, no, I couldn't do the control. I kept telling me to you take my You just walk VR up to the camera, mm -hmm. and it takes a picture of your eyes, yeah. and yeah. you put the little crosshairs dead center in your eyes, and, and then it measures yeah. how far your eyes are away. Right. And, so and you recalibrate them to the center of your pupil. I've heard some great success stories with this. Yeah. It, it actually did improve my tracking definitely big time. Tracking. Or everything for when I did the VR yeah, okay. headset, just the distance and everything. Nice. Um, I don't know. It all worked well. Yeah, no, I hear people who you know used to. Well, I mean, who was it? Was it Shen Muso's girlfriend? I uh, was playing Beat Saber with him, and uh, I was yes. getting headaches immediately. Yeah. And then yeah. they fixed that, and no problems. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, they'll absolutely give you headaches if you get mean, the wrong. I did the whole thing. You take the VR headset off and you hold it at the angles okay, to the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I redid everything, and it was so definitely. I, I made JD spit his drink out, and I don't know why. I know I was reading that, and I'm like, "What did that say?" <laughs> is it when you almost hit him? Like, oh, no, he that, did. that was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Wait, did I hear you? It, I'm sorry. Is the stream that delayed? Yeah, I, don't I, I don't think it's that delayed. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, JD, what so made you spit welcome. your drink out? Yes. Uh, um. So, uh, what's what, your dream you pave game? No, I was just I was just looking at the time. Xavier was saying, "What's your dream um, pave?" Um, 109. So 1:30, I am. All right. Out. Cool, cool, cool. Well, next up, we got uh, an an update, an update from a game I really didn't think we were going to see an update from. Ooh, okay. Because uh, we've been talking about it for a while. Uh, this is uh, in 720. Uh, <laughs> 720p. It's Discovery. Uh, and maybe oh, it'll yeah. start playing. There it is. Hey. In the little corner. We're not Minecraft. Don't sue us, Mojang. <laughs> so that's in. And, and so. Yeah. 
you know, since this thing launched with only a creative mode mm -hmm. and, a, and a pretty limited one at that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I spent hours and hours and hours building a little town yeah. with roads and traffic lights and, you know, caves and mountains and stuff and roads. Like, I, I had a lot of fun creating in creative mode. Mm -hmm. But then when I was all done, I was like, oh, all I can do is walk through the town and literally do nothing. Yeah. Of this title. Yeah, this Discovery, title. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so... And, and so and they've been promising this thing came out like over a year ago they've been promising move support they've been promising uh, a survival mode or a different game mode they've been promising all sorts of updates and we really haven't seen pretty much anything yeah. uh, but on, on Twitter uh, they definitely outlined color and, and I'm pretty sure yeah. that this is a one person development team so when I say they mm -hmm. I mean the development team of one person New Wanda um, that's the development yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's the person's name New Wanda would be pretty damn cool though yeah. like hey New Wanda what's coming next yeah <laughs> Uh, so a lot of promises, and I, and I don't know how many are actually coming uh, soon, but I think I think the the one thing that is being promised is move support very soon, okay. mm -hmm. and then after that is sort of a you know we'll see when the rest of the updates are coming. Right. Um, but yeah, who knows? Yeah, I, mean, you know, I think bringing into this the uh, we tomorrow we'll have a conversation about Microsoft and what it's doing with VR. Uh, this developer, man, they better get their stuff out there and sell as many copies as they want. Because if Microsoft decides uh, not to do VR, yeah. then you bet your ass uh, Sony's going to pay as much as they can to get Minecraft for VR. Yeah. yeah, I would say my gut says if if Microsoft is going to do a VR thing, that will be like the launch title. The oh, reason you have time. to get VR for it will That's be the, the Minecraft. Halo. Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because just the. You know, the promise of Discovery is I can create this world and exist in it. As we said, you know, because it's just creative mode, since that world isn't doing too much, it's uh, there's a limit to it. But if you can get a full-on Minecraft experience in VR... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was... It's. I mean, they definitely, uh, they definitely set themselves up for, I mean, a little bit of... Uh, I mean, they put the, you can't you can't develop a game that that plays and looks like Minecraft without setting yourself up for failure if you, if you're not delivering the full Minecraft experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, like we it doesn't matter how cheap the game is, doesn't matter how um, it doesn't matter how much you promise. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going to say, well, you know, I wanted Minecraft in VR and this isn't it. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this update is uh, is is big and, and and adds a lot lot more content to the game. Well, I, I've I've told this story before. I was I actually got a chance to play the Minecraft beta. I had a friend of a friend whatever. And uh, it was cool. It's like, yeah, I get to play my stuff. I get to play Legos. This is great. This was before there was survival mode. This is before there was anything, really. It was just the world. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then didn't think about it again. I'm like, why is everyone so crazy about this game? I don't get it. Like, why is <laughs> yeah. it taking over? And then I played it. I'm like, oh, survival mode. Right. Oh, so and that changed everything. Yeah. Oh, because that night the zombies or whatever come. Right, out. And, and you basically like you don't have unlimited resources. In the basic creative mode, you can just build whatever you want anytime you want, and it's it's cool. It's like having an enormous so Lego I, set. I tried that. And right. I did that and I With survival it. mode, you just pop into existence in this place, and you have to gather the resources you want Quite and fun. need to uh, to create. So if you want to build a huge castle, you got to get out there. You got to mine the stone. You got to chop down the trees to make the the, the doors and yeah, yeah so I, I die every time in minecraft within the first five minutes <laughs> the first time night rolls around i'm like dead oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i can't even figure out how to craft anything like i'm like i can only do half of the title <laughs> i can mine but i can't craft you, know, right. you have to my little nephew it's like mm -hmm. i mean i think it's a time that he's trying to teach me how to play he's like six yeah. years old yeah. and, he, and he's like well, we have to create a crafting table and i was like i don't know even how to do that <laughs> right He's like, he, he's like he's like building those same towers yeah, you're yeah, talking about yeah. to the sky. And he's got a whole city and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, you know, zombies, no problem. And <laughs> uh, and I and I'm like, you know, thirty. I'm like, I have no idea like, what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't want to build a house. I can't even build a house in real life. D definitely yeah. not. Bat Venom wants to know what game we're talking about. Discovery. 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 Yes. Basically, it's on Minecraft. sale right now. By the way, if you have PlayStation Plus, it's six dollars. So if you are, Damn. if 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 you're into Minecraft Creative, pick it up for six oh. bucks. And Let's, yeah. Well, uh, just before it goes, a Duran fan VR the game cat, blah 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 blah. Uh, apparently, you can get a pair of move controllers at a chain called Shopco in the Midwest for twenty nine ninety nine. You bought um, two yesterday. You bought two pairs yesterday. I'm going to buy a thousand pairs and make Sorry. a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, uh, Which so is how I played Fable. But. Six bucks for Discovery right now on sale. Yeah. If you have PlayStation Plus, pick oh, it up. Uh, and, and hopefully with, with the patch that's incoming, uh, hopefully it'll be a much bigger and better game, mm -hmm. uh, which you know is, is, is sort of the same deal with uh, with 18 floors that we were talking about. Yeah, JD uh, said, uh, JD Max yeah. oh, well, says, we right. are super delayed. That was what he was laughing about was when Desro was going to snap my, my vertebrae. Wow. And he, then he said, yes, the chat is super delayed. Huh, yeah, crazy. it is really delayed. So I'm going to say respond, and let's see how quickly somebody <laughs> could type the word respond. So, Ready? Respond. Oh God, all you're going to get is respond for the next 20 minutes. So since it's delayed, uh, I'll throw this out there. There was something I was seeing going back and forth. Um, pro versus OG, if you were going into this right now, pro. which one? Pro. Pro, hands okay. down. Yeah. If, the, if, if you don't have a PlayStation 4 Pro... Actually, and the fact is, uh, I think most people who have a PS4 proper, an OG, mm -hmm. uh, I th I think I keep hearing people saying, "Oh, if I trade my thanks, Will, if I trade my OG in now, get it mad, sorry, if I trade my OG in now, then I can I can get a pro for this much money. Yeah, you know they like they're saying, oh, like, if I trade my PS4 proper in, I can get an OG for I can get a pro for like two fifty. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, do it. Okay, do it. If you if you're like if 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 you play PSVR or PlayStation 4 as mm -hmm. much as we do, yeah. uh, it's totally worth it. Okay. Right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, the, there are some games where it makes a big difference. Um, I, I, Borderlands comes to mind yeah. immediately. It's, it's Skyrim uh, is another... Yeah, yeah that's Skyrim, a huge... Yeah. With that yeah. last patch that we got, I mean, it was it's night and day now. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, for me personally, like, you know, if, if, if money is no object for you... Oh. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Do I have my question is do I have two more years of this before the PS five comes out and do I really want to drop that on getting a pro before then? Eh. But I, I would say if you're going in from zero, I have nothing, definitely go for the pro. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you're going right into it, go for the pro. <laughs> but um I'm not gonna upgrade. No point. I'm gonna do it when it even though I really want to play Borderlands and see Skyrim better than my PlayStation dishes it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna. It's an unnecessary expense for me at the moment. Yeah. Also, if, if you're if you're if you have a PlayStation 4, an OG, and you're considering, or yeah. actually no, let me let me rephrase this. If you're not considering getting a Pro, don't play a Pro. Yeah, don't. Because yeah. the deal is once you, you once you yeah. go back, it's hard. It's so difficult to go back. You you, you start noticing all the the foveated rendering in Resident Evil Seven, yeah. which I thought looked amazing. And then when I played it on the Pro, I was like, this doesn't look much better. And then yeah. I went back and I was like, oh, oh I was wow. wrong, yeah. right? It's like that foveated rendering like actually does start to bother you a little bit if you get used to not seeing it. And then um, hey, Brian, what's foveated rendering? It, it's it's the stuff in the peripheral. So basically, yeah, that's... you're using the process of power to. Um, render sharper what's directly in front of you, not what's on the peripherals, which is fine if wherever you're actually looking is covered, but which is not fine when it's your head that's tracking. So if you're keeping your head still and you look over to the side, you know, it doesn't know that it's you're not super looking at that. Pixelated so it's, yeah, over it's pixelated there. over there. Yeah. If you keep your eyes straight ahead and look around like a sociopath, then you're going to be fine. But. Yeah. If again, if you have an OG, you shouldn't be you. You shouldn't feel like you're missing out big time, right? It's just one of those things that like it, it's it's a pretty substantial step forward, and, it, and it's just take it's hard to take that step backwards once mm -hmm. you've taken it. So um, and yeah, Skyrim definitely looks a whole lot better. Yeah. Borderlands looks a whole lot better. Adversary one said he had played it on his and the pro and didn't see much of a difference. Going to a cave, yeah, it, it depends on the cave. Yeah, we're talking about Skyrim. Water, Skyrim. Yeah. That's where you can really. It also depends see how long difference. ago, because like you, like Brian said, there have been some patches that have made a big difference. If yes. you did it like day and day to launch, there was some difference, but not like you know. I, I remember saying it's like okay, it's better, but it's not super crazy different. Yeah. But there's been a lot of uh, updates to, yeah. to the last big patch that we got from Bethesda. Like it felt like they just flipped a switch and just t dramatically made yeah. the world look better for real. Yeah. See, I oh hey Bob, there's the suck don't suck button. It was on <laughs> suck. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So Lloyd. It's a lot, I mean, like I even people I think have had a stronger reaction than even I have had with it. Mm -hmm. uh, some people said it went from being the worst looking game on PSVR to the best looking game on PSVR yeah. with that flip of the switch. I uh, still think that's. I don't. I don't think it's that crazy, but it does look. Every time I drop in, I'm like, oh, I forgot yeah. how good this game looks. I think it, what a lot of this too, people who like come from the up res, like the 4K versions and yeah. all that, and then go to the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Not gonna yeah. Look as good. This looks like crap. It's like, well, yeah. no, it doesn't look like crap. It's just you're used to, you know, being able to count the hairs on the horse. But. Yeah, right. And, and there are certainly games that look, I mean, like right. night and day difference, like from the get go. Um, Xavier D keeps asking, or he's asked once before, but he asked again because I, I saw it up there and I wasn't sure what. And when I say up there, I mean 
yeah, what, the what, chat. What is he asking? He's asking, um, what is our dream PSVR game or experience, which we've definitely discussed is a lot, but it sure. might be newer. All right. Yeah. Oh, am I starting? Um, is, anybody. I, I, sure. I, I, want, I want Resident Evil 2 remake. Basically, you do. Yeah, I want I want that. I want that in first person, and I want it in VR. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason they shouldn't be able to do it because it's in the same RE engine that Resident Evil Seven was made in. Um, so maybe Re- Resident Evil Two is one of my favorite games of all time, yeah. uh, probably second only to Resident Evil Seven in VR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that's I just want Capcom to take the extra step and make that game, uh, and then I can die. Yeah, I can die happy. What's yours? Um, Brian, I'm, you'll never be happy. Well, that's what's going to make you happy. That though? might be it. I've got to write. Okay. I got a petition. Horror Capcom. game in VR will make you happy. All content on the channel stops. Right, everything stops. We yeah. just knock on the door. <laughs> Brian, you okay? I'm in Raccoon City. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I, I think if we're talking about ports, I, I, I would love to. It's never going to happen, but I would love to see um, Half Life Two, Half Life uh, One, mm-hmm. um, the orange box yeah. in general. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, give me the whole yeah. orange box. Portal. Actually, I want to play Portal. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So, that, so that's one. I would love to see it, but I know I will not be able to play it. No, oh, <laughs> I, I can't imagine. Make you maybe nauseous. Still on. <laughs> maybe with the rudder, um, you'll be able to play it. Maybe and, it'll help with your motion sickness. And this, this is my yeah, maybe. No, but but just like the. I'm thinking like the ones when you set up the portal and you fly, 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 fly. Oh, it'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and this kind of seems like I'm passing off the answer, but my I'm looking forward to the people who have done something I cannot imagine with VR. You yeah. Know, uh, I, I said er, in early days, I think VR is where movies were when movies first started. They were basically, they would just make a play and put a static camera and that was it. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie. You know, well, but but it was, but it was it was Charlie Chaplin, it was Buster Keaton, and eventually um, uh, Orson Welles, who were like, no, this is a totally different medium. We can do things with this that we could have never imagined doing in a play. Yeah. And they're the the people who brought it to this another level. And now we're you know, if you showed like, um, he's doing a Jeremy. What he's getting there. I'm sorry, yeah. you're right. You are passing off the answer. What's your fucking yeah. dream game in <laughs> no, VR? That, that's it. That's it. That's my 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 dream game is the one where these creators who have spent some time in VR. I, like, He's I waiting can't for somebody else to yeah. dream his dream game up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, just, just make it in dreams. Yeah, my, well, I'm going there, and there you go. Yeah. Metroid Prime. I, I think ever yes, since we discussed uh, yep. the whole trilogy. Yep. But uh, Metroid Prime. The I think that would be unbelievable, yep. and I would so look forward to playing that. I'm down. Make it happen, somebody. Which may there. happen now because Nintendo sure. is going to get on consoles apparently. So. All right, guys. Yeah. So uh, let's let's that real quick here. The, the biggest news story of the week we we haven't even talked about yet, and that is right here. This is the 3D rudder. Introducing Thrudder. Ooh, Ooh, that's better. Thrudder. You know what the rudder is? The foot motion controller for PlayStation VR. That's motorboating. You put your fe- that's what? That's motorboating. Motorboating. So what's <laughs> rudder? There's sexual thing with rudders. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought rudder, there was like something sexual about it. Not this device. No. I mean, you maybe could. Well, if, you're, <laughs> if you're into feet, maybe. Right? Or, <laughs> yeah. Here, just I'm going to put Moving this on. here and I'm going to stand on it and I'm going to swing it around a little bit. It's going to... Rub you. So yeah. So anyways, full motion control with your feet. Yeah. Did they have to buy new shoes for this commercial? I mean, I'm assuming that that guy doesn't own any of the clothes he's wearing. No, right. I yeah. know they probably give him a whole outfit. Yeah, those are brand new sneakers. Those are yeah. totally. Those haven't yeah. even touched dirt. Just yeah. fucking carpet. Straight out of the box. And you know, so I've been trying to pronounce my R's. I think that's new carpet as well. Yeah, because I would have said carpet, but carpet. I've been like Which really trying to be aware of my carpet. That's why it looks woozy. Uh, what, so Silent Hill Two for JD Max. Silent Hill Two. Oh, so Will wait. is on with me for Metroid. Um, Silent. I, I played Silent Hill Two recently. Yeah. I picked up all the old Silent Hill games. Yeah. Uh, they don't. They don't hold up as well as you think. Remember, I've been because I was saying just t- give me Silent Hill Two, take the PlayStation Two graphics and throw them into VR, and you'll be good. Apparently, I forgot <laughs> yeah, that yeah. PlayStation Two graphics aren't as good as I remember them. They're poor. Because oh man. That game is rough around every edge. Yeah, like not. And then like they give the edges. grainy effect to it. Is that the first uh, or the second they give the grainy effect? Rough around effect? every it, edge. Yeah, and it, gave it them is nothing but edges. edges. Yeah, and you can you can only turn off the grainy effect once you've beaten it. Right? I remember buying. Remember the PS3 released to like the remastered. Yeah, maybe? I had that. So I never uh, like I never made it through any of them when they were out originally. So I bought that, and I was like, oh. Jim, it looks like your dreams have come true. Dolphin VR emulator for v- Metro yeah, Point Dolphin. VR. Wasn't but that the GameCube? The, the, but it's the emulator. Yeah. And you can do VR with it. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Well, my dreams came true in somebody else's sleep cycle because <laughs> I can't enter yeah. that yeah. realm. 
But the yeah the rudder I I don't know I mean we, we talked about it a little bit tomorrow we're gonna talk about <laughs> we, it for, we're gonna uh, talk the, about the rudder on on the game on viewer takeover tomorrow yeah um but but the facts the facts are for anyone who just discovered this right now mm-hmm. uh, is that it's 120 bucks right yeah. yeah and then there's some add-ons and stuff that can make it cost 140 dollars could yeah uh, and even though they're saying 30, it'll support 30 games 30 PSVR games at launch mm-hmm. on the web, on the website it's only showing seven. Right, yeah. so uh, there are obviously going to be some more games revealed over the next, you know, couple weeks or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. It, it seems like a solution in search of a problem. Um, you know, we we did talk about. Look, yeah, it's annoying to kind of figure out how to use the move controllers in free motion at first, but eventually you get used to it. And again, I'm not saying I'm not forgiving this. Like we shouldn't have to change our behavior due to a bad design choice. But the fact remains that's where we're at. Once you get used to that, it's it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I just there's there's I don't know. I, I'd like to try one in the real world. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I'm gonna sit down like, oh my god, this is amazing. You're absolutely right. This is what I've been missing. I'm just more thinking about man, my ankles are gonna be dying after like an hour. But. I'm not concerned about my ankles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned. Yeah. I'm concerned that um, that that's. I'm 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 very happy when I'm using move controllers. I want to stand up, and when I'm standing up, you can't use the 3D rudder. Mm. Uh, and then when I'm sitting down, I feel like I don't have uh, quite the uh, the the mobility that I want with my feet if I'm sitting down. Right. I, I don't I don't have a problem with using move controllers for full locomotion. I know some people haven't acclimated to that yet. Yeah. And and I, the same thing I'm going to tell you again tomorrow on Viewer Takeover. I'll say right now, if you are not used to using move controllers with full locomotion, get used to move controllers with full locomotion. <laughs> I don't I don't think Sony's going to release analog sticks on move controllers an update like that until like next, next generation. generation. Yeah. yeah. So like. Just get used to it. It sucks at first, but once you get used to it, you get so used to it. Um, so just, mm. I mean, it, it, it'll be fine. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna kind of like it's, a, it is a strong learning curve for new PSVR gamers. The one exception I'll make is, and we kind of touched on a little bit, is for accessibility issues. You know, people with with actual mobility issues where moving their feet is more possible to them or easier for them than moving their hands. Mm-hmm. I think this is a great idea. Yeah. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Um, but sell it, you know, aim it at that market rather than like, oh, we have we solved this problem that isn't really that much of a problem. The other issue too is um, hardwood floors. I mean, that device <laughs> on a hardwood <laughs> that's floor not a is a bad point. You know, honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's put like a shirt down or something. Yeah, like yeah a a shirt sweater. might slide around, but the scratching too. Yeah. yeah. Get a welcome. Well, we, don't, we don't. We don't know what the bottom of this thing is. It could be totally made of rubber. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You know, because they don't want it sliding on any surface. So yeah. it's like po- that bouncy. Po- what was that thing called? Pogo ball. Poke, po- Pogo not balls. a pokey ball. Pogo ball. Pogo, Pogo ball. ball. I was actually when that, when I first saw this thing, I was like, can I just attach some wires to my old <laughs> Pogo ball? And Pogo ball. Will yeah. that work? It looks kind of similar. How many so. people bounce on Pogo balls? They're more yeah. just balanced. Yeah. So you're like, look, I can balance and you like swivel. Anyways, anyway, that's pretty much it uh, for for this episode of right. PSVR Gamescast Live. I know, sorry, we got started a little bit late. Would you rather um, Spider Man? Go see it. What? Oh, I saw. I didn't go bowling last week like I had thought. The kids were like, you know what, Dad? We just went bowling. So we went and saw. I'm like, you want to go to the movies? They're like, yeah, let's go see Mary Poppins Returns. I'm like, oh yeah, yay! And then my thank God, Sadie, my eldest, was like. Oh wait, didn't you know there aren't? You mm. want to go see that with us? And I'm like, okay, why don't we go see Spider Man into the Spider Verse? And they're like, okay, we went. Yes. It was fucking awesome, mind blowing. Awesome. Even if you couldn't possibly care less about Spider Man or Marvel movies or yeah. superheroes, just as a statement of the state of art of animation right now, yeah, it is. It's literally so neat too. Yeah, the, yeah, and the the style because on the peripheral vision, it's got that like almost like page look with the you know mm-hmm. scratchy. Yeah. Um, oh, we're we're. Okay. <laughs> oh, matter. we got that. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing a dual one then. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's absolutely worth checking out. If you're a fan of art or animation yeah. or um, or Spider Man, I think it's one of the best Spider Man movies that have ever come yes. out. Um, Miles Morales, Morales is great. Yeah. And I'm not going to spoil the voice acting. Voice but, acting is great. But like some of the people who are like they. Yes. What I love about this is they have celebrity voice actors, but mm-hmm. they're not like plastered all over the poster. Yeah. You know, and and ruining that. It's just like, oh yeah. After what you find, that was that person, and you can hear the voices. And you're like, yeah. oh, "That's blah blah." Yeah. I didn't know they were in this. Yeah, yeah. Two people blah, actually, blah, I didn't blah. have a clue were in it. So here, here's here's my Des Nugget for this. Um, and I don't, if you notice, like, there's sometimes where like the the cameras focus on like Miles and Gwen or whatever, mm-hmm. and like the background, you know, there's the background characters. It's sort of out of focus and yeah. blurry, but in a weird way. Yeah. What they're doing, and this is brilliant. The Lego Movie, so typical animation, 24 frames per second. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
on the Lego movie, the reason it looks so weird and kind of jerky, because actually it's only 12 frames per second. What they did was they animated foreground characters in some scenes at 24 frames per second and background characters at 12 frames a second, ah, which nice. subconsciously you don't even notice. Yeah. You just notice, oh, that's not real. That's not happening. That's not part of the conversation. It just kind of throws everything kind of to the background. Yeah, okay. it's, yeah. it's neat. I mean, some of the stuff, too, even like with Miles' hands, sometimes it looked mm. like human hands, yep. Yep. even though it was, I don't know. They yeah. did it. It was just, it was, it was <clears throat> yeah. So as it should be. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. All right, hey anybody, anybody in the chat see uh, see Escape Room? Because I'm, I think I'm gonna go see that tonight. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna go, be going by myself. I can't seem to scare up a date these days. Go see oh, an Escape up a Room date by for myself. A horror movie. Yeah, scare. It's funny. Scare. Uh, scare. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, I know this is like kind of uh, all, we're all over the place today, and I mean pretty much always over, all over the place. Yeah. Uh, but then, but thank you. Um, have oh, in, <laughs> fucking fuck. <laughs> We were, we were going to start the entire show off with a couple announcements. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we 2019. Didn't make, 2019's here. we got all yeah. these different announcements to make. Uh, and Catch you next week, then. And, and, start, and starting with Jeremy's announcement that will happen before oh. the next time you see us oh, on the okay. Gamescast oh, yeah. Yeah. is live streams Yay! on Monday. Awesome. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know you guys all that time, but my time, my time down here, probably figuring like I, I would start around 9, 9.30 and stream. Brian really would like to see some Resident Evil oh, and I'm so terrified because I know I played it once before and, and like people want me to play Resident Evil again um, so we might do a, a like it could be 20 to 30 part series <laughs> who knows because our stream is 30 seconds long oh, yeah, no, we'll play and then I'll end and we'll do it again the next week and then we'll pick something else out once I complete the game yeah yeah so that's uh, I'm I'm frightened. So that's, that's the idea is that for about an hour a week every Monday night around nine Eastern, uh, Jeremy will be streaming uh, to make it a regular thing. We, we want to make it a regular show. Yeah, I uh, want to make sure that you can kind of count on uh, content coming out every, every single week at that point. Um, and, and I think it would be great because uh, it's not me; it's every single one of the game cats ever <laughs> yeah. asking. Like we yes. want to watch Jeremy play Resident Evil Seven, mm-hmm. um, and. Uh, and, and, I, and I also want to watch that. Now you're going to put the camera so like, yes. the camera's yes. on YouTube. You have yes. to start over. Okay. Yes, that's yes. what I was going to ask. Yes, do I start over. or do I... Yep. I'm like only like running around away from what's his face. No, nope, starting over. Starting over from scratch. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, and you'll probably oh, be able to basement. blast through the first hour pretty quickly. God damn it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and then also, uh, we uh, we are starting developer interviews. Uh, something yeah. that other people have been asking for. That's and, awesome. Uh, and, and man, I've got, I've got a list of people that I want to interview. And uh, I don't really have a format set up. Mm. It's going to be a crazy experiment. I got to do tons of work this week preparing for it. But you will see yes. the very first uh, developer interview, if all goes according to plan, this Saturday. Nice. Um, and we've got some exclusive information about uh, the Wizards and the release date coming for PlayStation VR very soon. Uh, and we'll be able to reveal all that to you on, on Saturday. This channel. On this a channel. A reveal. We're yeah. Gr- we're first reveal. First ever. Yeah. So, uh, and so, and so the 2019 is going to be a big year. You know, we want to make these developer interviews a, a frequent thing, like if not every month and every, uh, you know, every other, every two weeks. We want to make it as frequently as possible. Uh, not, nothing better than talking to developers and finding out what's happening behind the scenes because all we're doing week after week is just speculating. Yeah. So it would be nice to hear a little bit more from people that are making the games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also, you know, seeing Jeremy play games, uh, it's just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more interaction yeah. with Jeremy every week yeah. is never a bad thing. Well, ask oh. some people. That's all I know. <laughs> so, all right. 2019 is going to be a big year, but we got to get out of here for today. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the donations. Thanks for everyone who goes yeah, to patreon.com slash for that for all games and gives us a dollar or more every single month. And uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow for Viewer Takeover. Yeah. Right? Bye. Bye-bye. I got to go. I kept Bye-bye. looking at the speaker instead of.